whatever is this, we're mm -hmm. gonna get the tasting, we're gonna get uh, class with vendors, uh, with mm -hmm. suppliers, with uh, people from distillery. But this is uh, a journey that starts at a certain point. And if you do the bartender as a lifetime job, uh, you should uh, study forever. Another, another stuff that it's uh, tricky but uh, you can uh, eventually fix it like about uh, uh, so this is a huge restaurant but it's even a small company mm -hmm. uh, because uh, I didn't fix uh, like a proper training program for bartenders okay but uh, anytime we hire someone new they're gonna get uh, uh, training for sure okay. in my opinion I have a different uh, a different uh, background. Yes, uh, being a European, not American. Yeah. So the the scheme about uh, uh, runner, uh, cleaner, uh, yeah, bar, yeah. bar back, and then bartender, yeah. and the bartender is something that uh, makes sense, especially in the US. But mostly of the time, I'm uh, skipping this because I would love to put everyone as a bartender, of course, with different experience but they feel a little bit more uh, appreciate mm. and they feel more part of the team one Understood. of the one of the stuff is that uh, with so many years of uh, experience i can train i guess most of the people them to do other tasks yeah and then uh, the, the the different things is like to train them to make the job to know the drinks that we have as signature drinks mm. to make most of the classic cocktails like iba cocktails mm. or whatever and then uh, whatever is this we're mm -hmm. gonna get the tasting we're gonna get uh, class with vendors uh, with mm -hmm. suppliers with uh, people from distillery but this is uh, a journey that starts at a certain point and if you do the bartender as a lifetime job uh, you should uh, study forever mm -hmm. so basically i cannot teach you too much about every spirit yeah. i can put you on the game that you are comfortable to guess but if you want to make more uh, i mean if you want to be more expertise you have to study then what do you include you know in your first two days for a new person starting what's your onboarding process so i i do two different things so first things is to see how people even without any experience how people interact with the Guests, okay. because we forget often that the bartending is about the people. It's a job, it's an industry made from people to people. Mm -hmm. So you can be this more skillful, talented, uh, very uh, with a very fashionable style behind the bar. But if you are super bad with people, uh, everything goes to the wrong side. Mm -hmm. So basically, I take a look about these aspects mm -hmm. and then uh, for sure it's a little bit even about how people handle stuff. There can be tools, there mm -hmm. can be bottle, and uh, even other uh, stupid stuff like uh, to understand if people drink too much behind the bar, that is another mm -hmm, story. Mm -hmm. And uh, we do some uh, cheers during a busy mm -hmm, night, mm -hmm. but we are making drinks for guests, not drinking for us. Understood. Okay, so this is, uh, so the training stuff is like, uh, uh, then when uh, I decided that one, I'm gonna join the, the team, uh, then depends on him or her yeah. if they want to be more uh, skilled, if they want to approach the bar in a more professional way. I would say that uh, this is not a genius work. After a certain time of training and practice, uh, you should do easy, you know. But uh, if you are bad with people, I cannot adjust that, mm. you know. That is something about your soul. If you love people, not on a theoretical side, yeah. but you want to make them happy. Super.